What is up everybody? Good morning and welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. So today I'm going to try to give you an interesting celebrity reviews. Round one, fight! So if anybody of you remember about a year ago, an ordinary eagle of guy like myself captured the hearts of the netizens by his innocently photogenic pictures taken by a random tourist. And just recently, a guy who have been bullied because of his not so good looks decided to go under the knife to totally change his appearance to please the people and to counter those who bullied him. And both of these stories went phenomenal on social media. Oh. Ah. Some people praise their transformations and some still find ways to criticize the other. Yo, we find ways. Oh, and by the way, just to set the record straight, this video is not intended to criticize or to discredit any person who have been mentioned in this video. So just the recent episode of the Jessica Soho uh, um, stories, they gave us an update on the whereabouts of as the caravan. Well, to me, he still looks stunning on his new hairstyle. But what caught my attention more is that the comments, people kept on comparing him to, to Marlu Arizala, or now named as Sanderford. Like, kung mas okay si Karapman kaysa kay Sander for noong guy. Mas mabuti pa to kaysa kay Sander for ay Marlo Arizala. Well, aside from they both good looking, I don't see why people keep on linking them together. But if I were to compare, these are my points. Point number one, the looks. To be fair to both of them, um, the looks are pretty much at par with each other. Carrot Man has the boy next door kind of look, and Sander has like the mestizo uh, type. Point number two uh, talking about talents, I think both of these guys have something to offer. One can sing and the other can dance. Another point, Sanderford. Sanderford is able to express himself well and confidently in Tagalog since it is his first language. On the other hand, Carrot Man is meek, soft spoken, and shy type of person. They also have their own advocacies. For Sanderford, he's pushing towards he's pushing towards anti bullying in any form. Cartman, on the other hand, is trying to raise awareness and erase the ignorance of the people on the different ethnic groups of the Philippines, especially the egos. Now, talking about personality, Sandy Ford is a very outspoken person and sometimes doesn't have control of what he's saying. Remember this issue? Spoiler 
yung lobo ko yung kinagawa pa ni Katrin Bernardo po sa kangku yun. <laughs> and contrary to him, Carrot Man is a shy and a humble type. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Igorots are naturally shy and humble people. No one should be making judgment on Igorots' life status basing from how they dress up. Because you would never know that you are already speaking to the province's highest leader. Anyway, just trying to make a point. Just comment below if you agree. Those are just my observations, so I will let you guys decide which way to go. Right, that's it for me, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and please do hit the subscribe button right there so I can show you more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.